how to use QuickBooks accounting software for e-commerce business, eBay, Etsy, Amazon FBA. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how to use QuickBooks accounting software for your e-commerce business. If you're running an online business on platforms like eBay, Etsy, or Amazon FBA, it's essential to have a robust accounting system in place to keep track of your finances accurately. QuickBooks is a leading accounting software that can streamline your financial management processes and help you stay organized. QuickBooks offers a range of features specifically designed for e-commerce business, allowing you to easily track sales, expenses, inventory, and more. With its user-friendly interface and powerful tools, QuickBooks can help you gain valuable insights into your business financial health and make informed decisions. So, whether you're a beginner or someone who already have experience with accounting softwares, this guide will provide you with a step-by-step -step instruction and practical tips to effectively use QuickBooks for your e-commerce business. So, let's get started. Now, right now, I am currently on the homepage of QuickBooks and we will give you a quick tour of their homepage before we begin with their actual application or actual software. As you can see here already on the top, you would need to pay for QuickBooks to be able to use this properly. You would need to subscribe for their different plans to be able to use them with all of its features. So, we're going to check them out. Now, over here, this is where we can see the different plans and pricing for the different features that we could use in QuickBooks. As you can see here, we have the simple start, essential, plus, and advanced over here. Now, each and every plan over here has its own different extra feature as you can see here for our simple start we have all of this option over here until connect one sales channel which is your e-commerce business channel and the difference between the essential and the simple start is that over here on the essential you will be able to connect three different sales channel including three users bill management and you can enter your time now for the plus version over here which is the most popular you could have like all sales channel five users bill management and their time inventory and project profitability over here now for the advanced version the 60 dollars per month you can have data sync with excel employee expenses batch invoice and expenses custom access control exclusive premium apps workflow automation data restoration 24 7 support and training and revenue recognition over here now the different pricing for these are, for the simple start, we have $9 per month. Essential is $16.50 per month. For the plus version, $25.50 per month. And for the advanced, which is $60 per month. And now this is, as you can see, you can buy 70% off for 3 months every year. Plus a free guided setup if you would like. You could also have a free trial for 30 days every year. You could enable this or disable this if you would like. Now, the different features to be available in QuickBooks are these different items. We have the different products over here. We have product under accounting, advanced accounting, virtual bookkeeping, payroll, pay contracts, time tracking, accept payments, and enterprise over here. Now, for the different features, you have the invoice, track expenses, manage bills, get tax, get tax deductions, run reports, track miles, manage projects, Calculate sales tax, manage e-commerce over here. Now, this will be very important for our tutorial for today's video because we are indeed focused on teaching you how you could use QuickBooks on your e-commerce business. So we could check this out later on. Now, we also have the business stage like small business, mid-size, new, and freelancer options over here. On the industry, you have all of this option over here. Now, let's go and sign in in a quick bit. Actually, you could also go over here on the homepage once again and you could try your free trial in this section over here to try the simple start essential or plus over here you could use and apply for a free trial which is for 30 days over here and now this is what our quickbooks software looks like this is their dashboard as you can see this is where you will be able to see everything that needs to be done your different tasks as you can see here you have the different shortcuts like add supplier add expenses i'm going to ask this to lower down you have the add supplier, add expenses, write check, print checks, add customer, and add invoice. It would be very helpful for your e-commerce business wherein you could add your supplier, 
your expenses and all of these options over here. This is just shortcuts for you to easily access these features in QuickBooks. You can also see your bank accounts over here. You could connect your accounts over here. You could also click and go to registers in this section over here. You could see the cash and cash equivalents. You could also enable privacy over here to hide financial info on your dashboard. You could also check out their business overview in this section by clicking this. You could also customize how your dashboard would look like. As you can see here, you could rename this dashboard and you could add your logo over here. Right here, right now, there is nothing really appearing on our section. But as you can see, this is where you will be able to see your cash flow forecast, your profit and loss, your bank accounts, your expenses, invoices, and sales over right here. So that you will be able to track everything going on with your e-commerce financials. Now, right here on the left side, this is where you can see the different menus on our QuickBooks. You have our banking, where you can see your banking rules and tags. You can see all your sales, invoices, customers, and product and services. For the customers and leads, you can see them over here. Cash flow, you can check them out in this section, which is similar to this. Expenses, you could add your expenses and suppliers over here. Your employees, time, report, VAT, and accounting section over here. And you could add them to your bookmarks over here if you would like. You could also add some applications to help you with your different QuickBook features. And you can also add something over here. You can click on new. And this is where you will be able to add new invoice, receive payment, estimate, credit note, sales receipt, refund receipt, delayed credit, delayed charge. And for the supplier, you have expense, check, bill, pay bills, purchase orders, supplier credit, credit card, credit. And you have your employees and others over here. Now let's try adding our invoice over here. Let's see what our invoice section would look like let's explore our quickbooks for a bit and as you can see this is how you will be able to add an invoice in quickbooks you can simply select your customer in this section or you could add a new one by clicking on the add new over here and then you can add their name and their tax number in this section you could also add your customer emails in this section their billing address the terms in this section, you could choose from net 15, net 13, net 60, due on receipt, or you could add new over here. You can see your invoice date, due date, and tags in this section. You could add tags like what type of job you did and all of those stuff. As you can see, you will be able to see this uh, insights over here. Like if you tag your transactions, wall repair, you could see it in this section as well. And over here, you could type in your product or whatever services you have provided, the description, the quantity your rate and amount over here and you will be able to see like a total amount in the total section and balance you over here you can add some messages message on statement and attachment over here probably like a picture of your work stuff like that and you will be able to see this also and then you could send them to your customer or you could also print our print our preview and you could customize it with a standard style new style or edit current over here if you would like now going back, we could check out how we could make our receive payment over here. Click on receive payment. And very similar to how the invoice section looks like. It's similar as you can see here, you have the customer, email, find by invoice number, payment date, memo, and attachments over here. And then you could type how much you have received in this section. Now we could check out how you will be able to like check the estimate. And very similar, very similar to the invoice and receive payment over here as you can see very easy to manage very easy to explore now let's exit this in this section also on the sales section you could type in your invoice also over here your customers and you can add your products and services over here for easy usage like you could use it for tags like what we showed you with invoices earlier so that it will automatically add the prices so for example we're going to add a product over here like a non-inventory and you could add the name for example we're going to sell like mugs so we're going to add mugs for the SKU you could have your SKU over here you could type in your quote over here for your category and for your description you could add it over here then you add your price and rate over here the income income amount you change it from services to any of these options over here and then you can simply save and close over here and when you use that and when you use your invoice to create your invoices, you can simply use the tag that you have created for your product and it will automatically add the price to your invoice which saves time 
when you are creating your invoices. Now you can also check out all sales over here as you can see. You can simply explore this on your own and you will be able to easily navigate through this because QuickBooks has a very user-friendly interface. As you can see, I, were, I was able to navigate through the different things very easily. And uh, you can simply customize them as well, customize the different things on your dashboard and all the things that you would like to customize. And that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.